Moleni Bafunzi, Ninja Ninam Slanje. Hi students, how are you today? I hope you can hear me. There's a fountain behind me, so um, the sound of running water. Today, I wanted to look at two really useful topics that we covered briefly in this lesson. The one is to um, say that you have something, you are with something or someone, and the other one is the past tense. Very useful, um, which I wanted to go into a bit more um, after looking at the sound change once again. So the sound change, um, basically what I wrote in the diagram was that if you add na with u, it becomes no. And that's very useful because all the um, names of people are going to start with an u. So when you say with someone, it's always going to be no. That na plus u. So for instance, with uh, Chris would be no Chris. And with James, no James. Um, with uh, Temba, no Temba, etc. Um, so uh, the other thing is if you want to say you have something, it's that same na being with something. And um, so you can't say I am with the present tense of to be is not, it doesn't exist in Kosa. So you just say ndi, na, and then the thing. If that thing starts with an A, like amanzi, then you don't hear uh, a different sound. It's just ndi na manzi. I am with water, I have water. Um, if it starts with an E, like many nouns do, the E becomes e. Ndi ne, ndi ne mali, I have money. Ndi ne moto, I have a car. Um, I have time, ikresha. Um, if I want to say, what could I say? Um, I have, uh, let's look at words that don't start with an E. For instance, ukucha, food. The U was again, oh, dinokucha. And then um, I have children, dinabantwana, because abantwana is children. So, um, if I want to say you have something, it would just be una, and then the same sound changes apply. So, you have a car, unemoto. You have children, unabantwana. Um, you have time, unekresha. You have a problem, ingaki, would be unengaki. And then um, the other way of saying that you have something is to just use the pronoun uh, emphatically. So you're like emphasizing, I have it money, I have it time, I have it. And now this it changes a bit according to noun class. You don't have to memorize these. You kind of just try and get used to them or just be aware of it if you hear it. Uh, sometimes it's in dinaso or in dinalo, in dinayo, in dinawo. It depends on the noun class. So for instance, um, I have time, and I'm emphasizing I have it. It will be I have money, I'm emphasizing I have it. I have them, children. Um, I have water. Another thing you can express using this na is the word and. So if you want to say I have uh, water and um, food, then you would say ndinamanzi no kucha. So this na just means with or and. If you want to say I like to um, I like to speak and to cook, um, then it would be. Nditana ukuteta no kupeka. Ukupeka is to cook. If you want to say um, I speak English and Afrikaans, then it would be Nditeta isingesi nesibulu. So the na plus isi becomes nesi. Ndifunda isikosa nesizulu ngoku. The next thing we were going to look at was the past tense. Again, this is very useful uh, when you learn a new language. Just 
start learning the past tense quite soon because you'll notice that when you speak to people um, we tend to tell them a lot of uh, things that happened in the past um, it's almost more used than the present tense I would say so um, it's worth getting into quickly again we have a short form and a long form like with the present tense so I could say um, if I take the, the verb borna to see Ndibone um, Chris I saw Chris Ndibone u James I saw James remember the person's name always starts with u and um, if I'm talking about them not to them and then um, we could add the word izolo yesterday which you could easily remember with the mnemonic um, to smoke a zol something you did yesterday somehow uh, make this picture remind you of the word yesterday izolo so I uh, he, yeah I spoke with Chris yesterday izolo ndi tete no Chris so teta ndi tete no Chris um, I spoke to James yesterday izolo ndi tete no James and then if we want to do the long form like you're just saying what you did without anything coming after it or you're emphasizing what you did then it would be with ile at the end for instance um, ndi boni ile I saw ndi tetile I spoke ndi hambile I went etc so uh, here are a few sentences and see if you can think of the closer equivalent so we went to town yesterday. If to go to town is ukuya edolopini. Yesterday we went to town. Izolo siye edolopini. Yesterday we spoke with um, Tandiwe. Izolo. So uh, we played tennis, for instance. Intenecha would be Sidlale Intenecha. Izolo Sidlale Intenecha. Yesterday we played tennis. Yesterday I played uh, rugby. Izolo Nditlale Umboko. Umboko is rugby. Um, you played soccer yesterday. Izolo utlale ibola. Um, we learned isi kosa. Sifunde isi kosa. Um, we learned kosa at school. Sifunde isi kosa eskolweni. We went uh, to the shop yesterday. Izolo siye evangileni. Ukuya doesn't have a long form, it only has a short form in the present and in the past tense because it has to be followed by something, by the place that you're going to. Um, I went to work. Ndiye msebenzini. 